Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this talk. It is a great pleasure to have this opportunity to present and introduce our work to Kai community. I'm Gökçe Elif Baykal. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Aarhus University, Denmark. Uh, I'm working in child computer interaction field, a subfield of HCI, and today I will be talking about our literature review, which uh, I worked with my co-authors Martin van Mekelen and Eva Eriksson. This project is part of the Collaborative Information Technologies in Special Education project funded by Aarhus University Research Foundation. In this presentation, I will summarize briefly what we have presented in our paper, which showed the state of the art in the field, an overview about the types of collaborative technologies with a particular focus on children with special needs. The demographics of the target groups of children in different developmental conditions and needs, and the theoretical groundings and the methodological approaches that have been used so far to develop the collaborative interactions in these technologies and define a future agenda on this topic. Collaboration is one of the 21st century skills and has been it has taken central attention in research, uh, recent theoretical and technological developments, especially in education, psychology and design research. However, children with special needs may need some support in developing their collaborative skills. In this work, we refer to the term children with special needs, relying on UNESCO's definition, which refer to children who are up to 18 years old and who require some additional support to participate in society and have some difficulties in meeting some learning objectives for a variety of reasons. And these reasons may include, but are not limited to some disadvantages in regards to physical, behavioral, intellectual, emotional, and or social capacities. So in order to understand the collaborative technologies for children with special needs, we mainly posed three questions in our research. First, what are the types and aims of collaborative technologies developed for children with special needs? Second, what are the special needs, ages, and gender of the children? And in what contexts are collaborative technologies developed? Third, what are the methodological approaches and theoretical groundings to evaluate collaborative technologies? For this systematic literature review, we used ACM Digital Library as a database, which contains a comprehensive archive for interdisciplinary HCI publications, including journals, magazines, and conference proceedings. Using this combination of keywords, having collaboration or cooperation as the primary term in, in the metadata, and related terms to child as secondary in the metadata and or in the text, uh, we looked at all the papers beginning from 1992 to 2019. This first research query resulted with 310 papers, then as a second step, we eliminated the papers that do not directly involve children. For instance, if the students are university students or if the technology does not directly develop or designed for children's collaborative use. This elimination resulted with 190 papers, which uh, focus on children in general. Then as a final step, we eliminated papers which do not involve children in special needs, which we mean by children who deal with developmentally diverse conditions, such as autism, Down syndrome, visual or hearing impairments, or a type of latency such as learning difficulties. So since these conditions of special needs are highly fragmented in the existing literature, this three-step elimination not only helped us to capture the results for a wide variety of special conditions in different studies, but also helped us to see the results from a broader perspective. So we found only 35 papers in total, which focused on children with a type of special need, and our final analysis included only these papers. Our findings showed an increase of attention after 2006, 
From the 35 percent, 29 were published in the last six to seven years. So this suggests that collaborative technologies for children with special needs is a rather new phenomenon in the HCI community that is increasingly gaining attention. If we look at the distribution across different venues, as might be anticipated, Interaction Design and Children Conference, IDC Conference, and Computer Supported Cooperative Work, CSCW Conference, are the most represented conferences among ACM publications. And CHI follows them and runs up as the third in the list. The collaborative technologies mostly include children between 6 to 12 years old children as target group and mostly males as participants. In terms of special needs condition, children with autism were the most studied when compared to other developmental conditions such as visual or hearing impairments and other chronic illnesses. In this table, you can see an overview of the papers in terms of the special need condition uh, which are listed on the left column, if you can follow my cursor here, uh, and the context or the setting that the studies or the technology took place, as can be seen on the top uh, row as the context. And in the intersecting cells on the table, the types of technologies are displayed, which you can find what the abbreviations refer to at the button. But in summary, most of the studies took place in school or classroom context when compared to other settings, such as hospitals, therapeutic services, or home environment. And when it comes to types of technology, tangible and embodied tools were prominent types and um, types of technologies developed or tested for and with children with special needs. Mobile and online technologies follow these. Also, robots are gaining some interest as collaborative agents for children. Besides these, in terms of the geographical distribution of the studies, we found that there is significantly more work done in Europe and North America than the rest of the world. So our study showed that we need more demographically diverse studies on collaborative technologies for children with special needs. For us, one of the most striking findings of the study was to see that there is a lack of concrete definition of the term collaboration. Finding a definition was actually one of our basic motivation in our project to find and adapt for measuring the collaborative aspects of the collocated collaborative games that we are currently developing in our project. But with this literature review, we found that collaboration mostly used interchangeably with cooperation and social interaction, which intermingles or sometimes even reduces the significance of the term. And in relation with this lack of a concrete definition, of course, the set of evaluation criteria for collaboration is very much scattered in HCI research. In our paper, we present an extensive work on the methodological approaches to collaborative technologies and the evaluation criteria used in these studies. These include the ones from existing frameworks that range from social interaction to gesture analysis or combination of self-determined evaluation criteria with existing frameworks that investigate the engagement, communication, or cooperative activities in addition to social interaction in relation to collaboration. And some few studies that describe their bottom-up approach to evaluate collaborative aspects of their tools without using any a priori uh, predefined uh, criteria. These examples for evaluating collaborative technologies can be found in very much detail in our paper. So I will invite you to read our paper to find the detailed information. But now I would like to conclude presenting the main takeaways of our study, which we suggest as the future directions uh, for this topic of research that we need studies for. For instance, developing evaluation criteria to better understand and analyze collaboration and collaborative aspects of interaction mediated by collaborative technologies. Another thing is developing solid theoretical frameworks and design tools on collaborative interaction is another need that we uh, need to work on. And we need more demographically diverse studies to bring a more universal understanding of collaboration as a term. 
and clarifying concepts and definitions in research reports to avoid confusion with other related terms such as group work, cooperation, or social skills, which have nuances with collaboration. So thank you for listening to this talk. And if you have any further questions, please email us. We would be happy to answer your questions.